Let's talk about how we can get parents more involved in our classrooms. I'd like to show you how to set up guardian summaries through Google Classroom. I'm going to open up a Google Classroom and I'm going to go to the People tab. And when I see my list of students, I should see an option for Invite Guardian. Now, if you do not see this option, it may have been disabled by your IT director or administrator. You'll need to check with them to get this feature turned on. Now, it's a pretty simple setup. We're simply going to click Invite Guardian and enter the email address of the parent who has requested um, updates on their student's progress. I like to collect these emails during back to school night or a time when parents are going to be in the building. So I'll type in mine just for demonstration, invite myself to uh, get the updates. I'm gonna jump over into my inbox and you'll see what um, the parent gets. So here is the invitation email that parents will receive, it's very quick and says you've invited them to be a guardian in Google Classroom. The parent will need to accept the invitation, which is going to take them to the settings page and allow them to determine what type of updates they want to receive. So at this time, there are two options. You can either get a weekly update, which is sent Friday afternoon, or a daily update, which is sent um, in the afternoon, I think 3 or 4 p.m. each day. So they'll select their preference and their time zone, and they will immediately begin receiving those updates. Now, if a parent has multiple students, similar to this, they'll have the ability to choose their preferences based on student. Even if Susan, maybe she's a high schooler and she's enrolled in five different courses, if all of her teachers are using this feature, um, the parent of Susan will get one email per day or per week with all of the updates from uh, the courses that she's enrolled in. So it's it's not overwhelming. It's, uh, it's a pretty good system. So that's um, all you have to do is type in their email. The parent just has to go in and accept that invitation and then they'll begin receiving receiving um, an update that looks something like this. So this is a pretty active one. So this would be a weekly summary. And so there's it's going to be divided into sections. So there are two missing assignments from last week, two assignments due next week. Um, and then that's divided into um, you know, different courses as well. So here are the things that were completed or returned in this past week divided by class. So it's, it's a very nice email, uh, very clear, very easy to understand. Now it's important to note that the parent is simply going to see the summary or the title of the assignment and the description or instructions that you have typed into Google Classroom. That's it. They're not able to click on these to enter Google Classroom. They will not see any of the documents or attachments that you have provided for students. They won't see any of the class comments, the feedback, um, or even the grade that you've left the student either. Really the point of the Guardian Summaries is for a parent to have some talking points so that when the kid, uh, their student comes home from school on Friday and they say, hey, what homework do you have? And the kid says, nothing. They can say, well, I see that you have two missing assignments, one in history and one in American literature. Let's take a look at those. The parent and the student would sit down together, go into the student's account and log into Google Classroom to get the details. That's really how it was designed to work. Some teachers are frustrated because there isn't a lot of detail provided. That's that's really not the point. The point is just to have the parent and the student uh, begin talking together. That's the overview. Now there's a couple of important things that you need to be aware of if you decide to use this feature. Okay. First, it's a little um, confusing, but um, let me uh, let me explain it this way. Let's pretend that I teach this student here, Edmund but Edmund is also enrolled in the math classroom down uh, the hall from me. That teacher in the math is also using the Guardian Summary. If I turn the Guardian Summary on and enter a parent's email, and the math teacher also has the Guardian Summary on, even if that teacher has not entered a parent email for Edmund, Google Classroom is intelligent enough to know that Edmund is in my biology class and also in the math class and will automatically apply this, the parent email to all of the classes um, 
that Edmund is enrolled in, provided the teacher has enabled the guardian summary feature. What this means for you is that you must be comfortable with all students receive or all parents of all of your students receiving these updates. You can't pick and choose which students you want to get the updates. Now you can turn this off entirely if you're just like, I have another system, I don't need this, that's fine. Um, you're going to disable the guardian summaries by going into your class settings, click up in the top right corner, scroll down to guardian summaries, and just make sure that this switch is off. If that switch is on, any other teacher who enters a parent email, that email address may end up in your Google Classroom as well. So that's the first thing I want to make you aware of so that you're not surprised. The next thing I want you to um, be mindful of is we do tend as teachers to give a lot of verbal instructions to our students. So, you know, like this here, it says week three quiz. Okay, well that doesn't give a ton of context um, to a parent. What's the quiz on? Um, how many questions? You know, what's the study guide? Any of that information. So you want to be as detailed as possible when you're typing out your assignments, especially the titles, so that parents have as much information as they can because that's all they're going to see. Now again, it is a conversation piece. The, the student has to fill them in, but if you just say homework or assignment or something like that, that's going to end up being very frustrating and confusing for the parent. So if you're going to turn on guardian summaries, I would encourage you to make a commitment to ensuring that your assignments and announcements are rich in information, um, not overly simplistic. That's a quick overview. I'm going to post in the description for this video to some screenshots of the various emails that get sent out so that you're aware of what your parents will see.